Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. For Bitcoin still not a lot of clarity here. Um, as I said, we can follow the bullish reversal scenario here until it gets invalidated um, because so far we already had one nice long position here which worked out, yeah, which was down here or at least a long entry possibility which I communicated to you yesterday. And here we had another one. Yeah, we hit support and we bounced off for now. But the question is, how reliable is it? So that's what we need to investigate. The move that is currently happening here to the upside isn't really impulsive yet. So I'm currently still looking at maybe one more low here in wave two, um, similar to what I talked about in the Ethereum video, that we will see some short term downside before we go up further in this pattern, A, B, C, yeah, of two. So uh, in this red wave count, disregard the green count, but here in the red wave count, we completed five waves to the upside. Talked about that, Bitcoin, one of the few coins that actually created five waves. One, two, three, four, five, which is actually good to see because Bitcoin so far has been quite weak generally since June. Um, it's now showing five waves and Ethereum actually hasn't, so it's quite interesting. Um, and now we see a, a move down in wave A, a corrective move up currently in wave B, which is fine. And then a wave C down would be ideal and it would be ideal to hold um, the support here in the region between 16,130 and 16,900. That would be an ideal target here for a wave too low. And from here we can start and move up in the third wave. Can't really give you a target for the third wave yet because we haven't really bottomed yet. At least we have no evidence that we have bottomed. I can give you a target though based on the info or the assumption that we will, let's say, go to the lowest possible point in the support area and then the target to the upside for the next wave for the third wave would be around 20,260. Yeah, so um, it is quite interesting in terms of reward to risk potentially. Um, important would be that we are now, well, either break out straight away or come down in wave C, which is what I primarily expect. Then, however, we need to hold support and then we can move up. And the first indication that you will get that we are indeed moving up will be, um, well, first of all, on a lower time frame, a five wave move up after the wave C low has been made. I will make you aware of that. Or, or end, if we come down really in this C wave, if we break above the B wave high, that will be a strong indication, right? That we are moving up and then we need to break above the wave one high here, which is 18,144. And then it's starting to look really good. Um, important also to move up generally above the 18,000, um, let me just double check that, 18,500, roughly 18,550 level roughly. That's the 50% Fibonacci retracement of the move down. And that is so important because this theoretically could also be a bearish count. So we could still be in a corrective move to the upside at the moment. For example, uh, an ABC or something. Um, and um, this would then be in the scenario of, well, being a wave four basically, before we come down once more in a wave five. But in this scenario, we have space all the way up to 18,550, 18,570 in that region. The 50% FIP retracement, if we get above that level, especially in an impulsive way, then it uh, reduces the chances of another low massively, right? So it's really important to now see the breakout above the wave one high of 18,000, roughly 130, and then a move above the 18,570 level here, the 50% retracement. So yeah, at the moment we can focus on this bullish count. Yeah, we've got the yellow support area, both long areas worked out so far, but I still think that we will come down once more in a wave C. And if we don't hold this support at 16,130, pretty much here, the lower support of the yellow box, then we are probably already in this green count to the downside. Yeah, then I will, um, then basically the chances that we are going to lose also the low from um, the 10th of November, which was here 15.6K basically. Yeah, the chances that we are losing this level will increase massively. Okay, and that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.